Well, here we are once again. I'm Curvy Calm, I'm a lamer, and I suck. So, uh, I'm here on my uh, Demon Hunter because uh, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to check what's in my mailbox. I think I probably have something, don't I? Oh, maybe not. I thought I sent some. Oh, I probably already did these. Then. Okay. So, uh... Uh... Put on her gear. And, uh... I guess I don't really have anything, uh... Looks like, uh, kinda looks like I did, uh... Uh... Kinda looks like I did, uh, um... Um... Uh, yeah... Looks like I did some, uh, um, some, uh, Argent tournament here. And, uh, that's probably true. I Looks like I'm in the middle of it, actually, but, uh, I got some, uh, I got some goodies from the, from the dungeon there on this character. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like doing any more Argent right now, but... I don't know, I mean, I still have plenty more, uh... Is that Isa Cloudsinger? Greetings. No, it's just Lunar Fall Labor. Uh, I can't remember where the, uh... What are your orders? I can't remember, um... What? What level is this, uh, garrison? This looks like, uh... Uh, Lamer ban. Uh, oh, look at that. Cause uh, you bet. Gameplay view. Thank you very much, Plaguey. Uh, I've got. Uh, oh, I have to unlock. This should probably go down here like that. And I'm not sure why I was moving around, but I did. Anyway, uh, this is a level two garrison, I think. I don't know. Uh, but she's got a couple of really cool sword uh, transmogs. Um, I think they look pretty good. I don't know what she could do here, like uh, Town Hall. Needs 2,000 uh, garrison thingies and 5,000 gold to upgrade, and there's absolutely no point that I can see to it right now. Uh, but in any case, uh, because, uh, um, yeah, I don't know, uh, overly gaudy notes. Hey, champ. You were out when I stopped by, got a sweet gig at the Ring of Blood in Nagrand. Lots of ogres looking for the next big fight. Big money. You in? Not really. I don't know. Uh. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if it even makes any sense to to do these. Uh. But I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking that it's just, uh, it's a pretty nice looking character, though, I think, all in all. I mean, there's not that much customization involved in, uh, in, uh, um, in WoW compared to a lot of other MMOs these days, but, uh, Hail Traveler.
We are bound by a common enemy. So what? I've got, uh... All right. Well, in any case, uh... I don't know. I, 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 I haven't really done a lot on this character, especially not here in the garrison. This is, like, uh, pretty cool, really. I mean, you know, it's funny because it's not going... They're not moving the garrison on. You know, they didn't move it on to Legion. Uh, uh, you didn't, like, pack it up and move it somewhere else, which would kind of be neat, I think. But... Oh, uh, well, anyway. Um... I'm just, uh, I just logged on to my, uh, Demon Hunter because I thought maybe, uh, there might be some, uh, there might be some, some, uh, transmogs in her mailbox, but I guess not. I guess I've, uh, received all of those already. So, or I sent them to the wrong character, which is also possible. But in any case, uh, I guess I'll, uh, go to my banker. Uh, that's usually a good move. Uh, I'm looking at the Novi situation, and there doesn't seem to be any right now. Everybody has at least one viewer. So, uh, um, so, you know, I guess that's a thing, but, uh, um, yeah, I'm just kind of, uh, let's see. So, uh, okay, we'll just log into my banker. My banker's level 101, and uh, she did most of that uh, by doing city dailies and also by uh, by uh, um, a lot of Argent tournament. So once she was high enough for the Argent tournament, we, uh, oh, there's that horse again. Look at that. Uh, so let's see what we've got here in the bank. There's going to be a bunch, because I did not stream all day today, so auctions have been going all this time and, you know, expiring and whatever. So, uh, looks like there's, uh, looks like I got 42,000 right now. And, uh, there, there might be more coming in. I don't know. We'll see a bunch of expired auctions. I hear some gold coming in now, but, uh, and, uh, uh, let's see. It's going to refresh the mailbox. I got 43,000 gold. Uh, or, I mean, 43 gold more. But I have to wait for... Uh, good evening, Chronix. Uh, is it Chronix or Chronix? So, uh, it's probably it's probably Chronix, I'm guessing. And thank you for dropping in and giving a shout. And a shout out to Chronix. Uh, that is C-R-O-E-N-I-X. Check out his stream. <laughs> or her. I don't know. But check out the stream. Uh, um, Chronics? Yeah, okay. So, uh, let's see. This is going to refresh in 23 seconds. Is that right? 46 more messages. See, surely it's been more than 23 seconds already, right? Yeah, here we go. All right, let's see what else there is. Looks like there's some gold. Looks like there's some stuff. And, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I think I'll minimize this thing for now. It's just kind of glary. I don't know, it probably lights up my, my workspace a little bit, but, uh, I don't know, you guys, I got like two office views now. I did this one. And uh, uh, a very talented streamer named, uh, um, uh, yes, Auction House. Uh, so I also have this one um, where it's zoomed in. And the advantage to that is that if I forget to switch views, at least you can kind of see what's going on. But uh, I will try now to go back to my gameplay view. And... Uh, you know, uh, so this, so, who knows? Some of you, this may be your favorite part because you know what we do in the auction house is we dance. It's a tradition. It's what started the whole trial of style thing. And uh, because we're doing that, 
Oh, and I got an alarm going off. So while my scan is going, I have to go do something to the oven. I will be right back. And I'm back. I'm going to set another timer. Uh, all right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Looks like my scan is done. And woohoo, it's the Macarena. You know, gotta love it. Anyway, uh, so let's see. I guess I'll just. Uh, I'll just batch everything that I have here because why not? I'm not going to be so uh, picky about it today. Uh, yesterday I went through things more. Uh, and we'll see here. All right, it's all going. Mm -hmm. Gone, but not forgotten. And I probably should, uh, when it comes to my gear, I have one piece of gear. I've got the Silver Moon Tunic of the Sun, which uh, is, uh, the Silver Moon stuff is really cool looking. It's kind of blood elf -y, you know? So it's kind of cool looking. Um, I'm gonna kind of check it out here on the, uh, let's see. I'm going to check it out and see what, if there's anything. And, uh, I'm gonna take of the sun off and see if there's more of them or something. And it looks like, uh, um, looks like it's got to go for under 10 grand because it's a good transmog item, evidently. So, you know, it's possible it could sell. So let me see uh, what, see what my appraiser has it listed as here. Uh, definitely, uh, um, eh, let's try that. I think that might be good. Let me see, uh, what is my 10, 10,950? 10, 9, no. All right. There, let's try that. 10. What did I got? Ah, that's wrong. Uh. I think that's right, isn't it? Uh. So, uh, 10, yeah, 10,950 10, is the lowest one, so I'll put it at 10,665. And that should be good. I'll just 
I'll just put that out. Somebody can get that as a transmog if they want. And maybe it'll sell and maybe it won't, who knows. I also put a low starting bid so someone can, uh, someone can bid on it. And uh, you think what, Chronix? Uh, let's see. Uh, so there's that. There, this is a bunch of stuff that's not very important. So I'll just put that up and we'll see where the, that goes. That's about all here. I saw some weird magical thing going on out here just a moment ago, but it's not happening now. Uh, so, uh, magical things like this. Woohoo! Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna say uh, that's it for banking for now, so I'm gonna log out again. And I'm trying to decide which character to run right now. I'm not sure, like, what I'm in the mood to do. <clears throat> uh, you think I can trust my merchant instincts? I, maybe, you know, I mean, I, I, I used to be really good at, at arbitrage, but I'm not doing, like, anything real fancy. Because I think it's boring to watch people, like, buy and sell things all day. I could have enough money for the Lucky Doom mount, which is 120 grand. Uh, I could have enough money for that in, in just a few days if I did uh, if I did arbitrage and I could just just sit at the auction house and make gold. But um, but uh, that's pretty boring. So I'm just uh, playing the game instead, and I'm selling the stuff that I that I pick up and the materials that I'm not going to craft anything with because I don't craft anything on my alts or anything. So. Uh, I don't know, I'm tempted to play my priest. I got a priest in Teldrassil. Uh, she's a very happy priest. And uh, so uh, I'm thinking maybe uh, I'll, I think, I, I think I'll maybe, uh, I don't know, I really don't know. I was like finishing up Desolus on my Warlock and I think I'll do that instead. Maybe that's what I'll do because uh, Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I hearth back here after dying a horrible death. And uh, so obviously I need to go to... Uh, what's in the mailbox here? Uh, oh, I see. Right. Okay, just some materials. Uh, and uh, definitely have to uh, find a repair vendor because, man... Man, oh man, all my gear is trashed. You know, well, not all of it. Uh, heirloom gear doesn't uh, doesn't need repairing. So that's one thing. It doesn't have, heirloom gear doesn't have a durability on it. So uh, that's another good reason to use heirloom gear is it doesn't have durability. And I was thinking, you know, that uh, one thing I ought to do is... Uh, I ought to get rid of these, uh, I ought to get rid of these trinkets. And, uh, I ought to get, uh, I ought to get the mana trinkets instead, especially on this character. It's going to increase her spell power so much. And, uh, so that one would be the discerning eye of the beast. And that one I don't have level to level two or to tier two. But it doesn't matter because I'm not anywhere close to that right now. Right now it goes up to 90, which is really fine. Uh, and uh, I've got plus 15 spell power on the staff she does have. So that's pretty good. And uh, Discerning Eye of the Beast, I guess I'll just get a couple of those. And, uh, um, and so maybe I'll put those on then instead. And I'll set that as her default outfit. Uh, and uh, I really need to talk to a repair vendor. Everything is everything is trashed. 40 silver. That's a lot at this level. But it's not a lot really, but it's a lot-ish. There is an infernal power core. There is a uh, sanguine belt, which I don't need. There's all these grays. 
And what else is there? There's, uh, she's got her Kirkenstocks and her... Oh, this is like something she could get rid of. She's got a fishing pole, which she doesn't really need. And she's got a wrought for formal dagger. What does that look like? It doesn't look all that formal to me. Uh, that's also soulbound. This is, this is soulbound, so this can go. Uh... She's got a wand. I don't know, like, playing with a wand, I'm not sure that there's ever any advantage of that. I wish there was an heirloom wand. I mean, I've got the offhand item that would go with it, but uh, I don't have, so, so, so now, anyway, she has, um, she has a plus 18 intellect on these things and re restores mana when you kill a target. And because she has a really good way, as a warlock, she has a really good way of... Re re she has her soul, uh, she has her health stones, but she also has her necklace, which, which also is just as good. And it's got Enchanted 13 Mastery on it. And uh, um, her, uh, her rings are not very good, but they're better than nothing. I mean, she got an agility ring, which she doesn't need. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> but it's the only second ring that she got so far, so... Anyway, uh, she could probably, uh... She could probably mail some stuff off. Uh, where is that mailbox? Over here, right? And, uh... Uh... Where in the world am I? Anyway, Kazoom's Glade. Uh... Where are they? Oh, Desolus, right. Uh, I'm confused as to where I am, but I, I can get rid of uh, this. It's a leather item, but it's learned, so it can go to the banker. Uh, okay, so I got some... Uh, I got some stuff I can combine. A little bit. And uh, let me see. That's probably good. I mean, I don't know. She's got, like... There's no point in sending the brambles just just and the in the petals and stuff because so she's just gonna keep combining those. So there's some things, there's some meat, hide. Uh, you have to you have to piece these together so she can do that to make another leather and uh, um And there's some cloth. And I can send that off. And then for now, her her bags could be more empty. So that's good. So let's see. What was she doing? What were we doing before we were so uh, rudely failed? Completely failed with a capital P. Uh, um, is there, is it easier, here's my question, is it easier to go south here and go to this, or is it easier to just go to Thargid's camp and then take the road over? I don't know, but I'm gonna just do that anyway. Okay. I'm gonna get on the griffin and take it, and uh, I don't know. Blaze's Lord as a rock under your control for two minutes. This is gonna, right, I remember failing to do this. And uh, close demon portals. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, 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 uh, I, I epically failed over here. And that's because I was, I was, uh, yeah, you usually take the road. That's what I, that's why I'm flying over here. I think it's easier to take the road. And, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking the road. I figure why not. And, uh, I probably should, like, uh, I should probably summon my, my minion here. Um, I should try, you know, not, uh, uh, what's this? All right, and uh, I've got uh, 
as I move my things, I've moved my bar thingies around a little bit. And, uh, all right, I got this thing here to control to close demon portals. I might not need that. I might need, I might want this on my special key. I'll put that down there, maybe just in case. But I bet you I don't need this one. I bet you all I have to do is click on the portals and they'll close. So let's see. I guess I like, uh, um, so I guess I just go down there's, uh, what, hyenas all over the place there. This is an interesting, uh, story. Like, you used to be able to get rep with these Gelkis and Magrim centaurs, but now you can't anymore. Uh, I wonder if they still sell the items, though, that you used to be able to buy from the rep. Uh, is they're all, they're all, like, they're all, like, friendly to me now. So I think the Magrim and the Gelkis are friendly to me now. So they took that rep out of the game. But uh, there used to be a vendor, like, uh, somewhere in here. Was a vendor? I don't remember where. Both factions had a vendor, and you could, and you could, there was some gear you could buy. Once you got exalted. But now they, they in, in, in Cataclysm, they took that rep out. So I don't see anything. These guys are not mad at me at all. I probably killed like 50 of them. And now we're our, now we're besties. It's just amazing, isn't it? So uh um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um uh uh oh I wanna look at something too um before I forget. Uh, if you please excuse me for just a moment, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, there we go, and, uh, um, All right, so, uh, do I see anything else? I guess that looks fine then. All right, so, uh, I've got, uh, I was just kind of thought I would look around here and see. I, um, I don't remember where the, uh, where the vendor was. But I think I've got like all my highlighted townsfolk stuff turned on except for reagents which never stays on for some reason. I don't know why, but it doesn't. Um but there was a there was a Gelkis uh quartermaster and I do not remember where uh where that was. But I'm curious, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go down here and then go up the bridge. Since we're all best buds now, I won't get attacked. So uh, that's an interesting take, though. When the Cataclysm uh, came out, they they kind of changed the story of uh, Oh, can you go up here? Can you go up and down this? Is this the is this the front entrance? Oh, it looks like it is. I didn't even see it. I wasn't sure. Okay. Well, that's good to know. There's a front entrance. You don't have to go all the way around to the back. But, uh... Um... I think in here is, uh... Is, um... Yeah, we're, we're all friends now, even though I killed this guy's three sons. Uh... Although they probably respawned already. I mean, all they did was just uh, run back from the spirit healer. So, uh... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think the dude is like all the way back here. Isn't that him? No, it's not. 
I don't know where he is. He's all the way back in the back, though, somewhere. Maybe if I go this way. I'm not sure what's the best way to go. I think this could be it. Yeah, Khan Shodo. And it shows, it shows like that I don't, see it's still, the rep is still there because it still shows that I don't have, uh, um, it still shows that I'm neutral with them. So, um, but it doesn't, but it doesn't show up on the rep, uh, um, So where, where are we? We're we're in the Gelkis cave. I was trying to check out to see if, because uh, you know, after the cataclysm, you don't get rep with these guys anymore. You used to be able to f pick one centaur faction or the other, and uh, um, uh, I just didn't kill them hard enough. You know, I mean, I they're all back, really. You know, none of them none of them are really dead. I mean, you know, they don't. They run back from the spirit healer just like I do when I get killed. So they're all back. I bet all his sons are alive too. So I killed his three sons, but they're they're probably still alive. And uh, um, anyway, but there's no. I don't think there is any. Like. Uh, yeah, there doesn't appear to be. You see, because there would be Magrum and. Uh, See, I'll show you what I mean here. Um, let me log out just a second, and uh, I will say uh, I'm just gonna log out right here. And uh, see, Plaguey was curious about something too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna explain this by logging into my main. Okay. Who's the only 110 I have? And she's all decked out for the trial of style that happened some time ago. And I, I haven't logged into her very much since then. But at least... Oh, and I should check and see if... Uh, I always want to check and see if there's anyone auto-hosting me or hosting me that I can auto-host back. But right now it looks okay. Everything looks fine. So uh, anyway, here we are on my main. What do we, what do we have in the mailbox? Just uh, some uh, gothic plate leggings. All right, so that's like a what? Um, let's see what that looks like. That just looks like uh, that. Well, that looks all right, I guess. That's kind of interesting. It's got some color to it. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, I've seen worse. So uh, I guess you can equip that and then get rid of it. Uh so, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I just really do go off on these tangents. And I'm trying not to let it pop off the top of the stack here. Uh, but there's that. What do I have here? A mode of harmony? Go with oh, you. right. I, I remember now because I accidentally sent some stuff here to her by mistake. And it was a complete mistake. And see, uh, she's the one that has the gnomish army knife. I thought I had another one somewhere. Because um, I like to give those to my alts too, because then they don't have to carry a <clears throat> mining pick and a skinning knife and whatever. But in any case, um, so let's send all this stuff back. Uh, And let's go in and send this, uh, let's send this, uh, um, this, this, this moat of, these moats of harmony to Alesa. That's where they should go, really. And, uh, that's that. All right, so let me look at the rep here. So when it comes to rep, look at all the exalted rep. Uh... Um, all right, so, uh, I got, uh, so when I go down to, uh, oh, I, I have some anglers rep with, uh, with Nat Pagel, uh, 
the tillers. I've got a little tillers rep because I talked to the tillers, I guess, briefly. Um, all right. Cataclysm, except for, except for Avengers of Hygel, I've got exalted all the way through. And, uh, um, Scale of the Sands and the Violet Eye, I never much did. Uh, the Ash Tongue, Death Sworn, you know. Um, I got everything with Shatrath and in Classic. Okay. I think it might say, uh, yeah, here, look at this. Gelkis Clan Centaur. Uh, friendly. And Magrim Clan Centaur hated. Uh, I swear I had that Centaur rep all the way as high as it could go, which it actually may be as high as it can go. But uh, it says hated, but you can't... Uh, Uh, you can't get this rep anymore. You can you can't change these uh, you can't change these settings. Now, you used to be able to change these settings. Uh, oh, you can! I can still. That's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, so, uh, but uh, that's something from pre-cataclysm that you can no longer do. So I don't know if the um, I don't know if the if the rep vendors are still there. I really don't, so that's interesting. But you can still, I guess you can't get that rep anymore, but I still have it, and I guess I could change my rep with it, with them if I wanted to. So, um, um, anyway, I guess that's all I wanted to know. I'm, I'll log back out. Riveting, riveting stuff, you guys. Riveting stuff. Uh, oh no, see, this is like, This is where, this is where, uh, the, sometimes the, 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 the character, the character thing is a little bugged here lately. So, uh, let me see. I'm doing Myanda the Warlock here. So I'm going to go back in here. But she cannot get rep with either of these centaur factions because these centaurs have a treaty now. And so they don't actually hate each other and, uh, you know, you can be you can be friendly with both of them, I think. Unless something has changed, or unless I can go over to Magrim and then they'll be hostile. Or I don't know. I don't think so though. Uh, I think that's it. I think basically. Uh, now where was that? Uh, didn't I find a ramp out out here out front, like a way that I could go up? I just don't know. I don't. Where am I? I found a ramp. It's over here. I know where it is. I see where it is. Yeah, I see where it is. It's right here. Because you can kind of see it looks like a road a bit. Anyway, but I was taking the road. So I guess I want to go back up here to the road and take the road over to there and figure out what I'm supposed to do with these demons. Now, I'm supposed to be able to control that guy for a while. And that means I could, uh, um, I can control him for two minutes, which means I can kill a bunch of stuff while I'm there. Is that, is that the idea? I mean, I think it is, but, um, going in here where all the demons are, but I did not I failed to control him properly. I don't know what happened, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to put my demon on uh, on passive temporarily. But uh, see, like I got to get these elementals, but I think I don't know. I probably can um, see these portals. Really, are all over here. So. Uh, All right. Oh, hey, you're you're on uh you're 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 in World of Warcraft. So now I think I can uh 
I think all I have to do to... Oh, really? All right. Sometimes a demon comes at come demons come out of these portals when you do this thing, and uh, I don't know. So there's these infernals, and uh, oh, I guess I should like health funnel her, huh? Oh, you're gonna you're going you're going to Desolus. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let's see here. Let's. Ooh, level forty. Level forty, and you know what that means. I can get a mount. I can get a faster mount. Would you like to take on one of your own kind? <laughs> well, evidently you don't want to. I don't know why. Is she stuck over there or what? Oh yeah, she might be bugged. She might be stuck in the wall. I don't know what her deal is. Look, she's like... She's stuck. I don't know what her, I don't know what her point, or... Alright, let's see if she can be banished. Yeah, she can be banished. Alright, so that's fine, I guess. I don't know. Very good, okay? So, uh... All right, I guess that, just that one is bugged. Try that. All right. Oh, I was going to show what my rep with the centaurs were, uh, with uh, you know, on my main character, and how you can't get that rep anymore, or you know, like there's two centaur factions, and you evidently you can't. Uh,
Gosh, if you want to if you want to tank with a warlock, you can definitely use soul drain. It's like it's like uh it's like the aggro magnet. Oh uh, yeah, I think she's like stuck over there. Yeah, see, she won't. Her health won't go away. She can attack, but her health won't. Her health won't go away, and she's kind of stuck over there somehow. I don't know what the deal is with her, but she's stuck over there. All right. All right, I don't know how many, like, uh, I know I have to, like, close a bunch of gates and stuff. I don't know how many I have yet to close. I guess three more. Oh, there's one here. That's all the that's all the infernals. So uh Oh. All right. So uh I'm not sure where I'm going here. I'm I'm uh So let's see. Can I invite you to uh Oh, you're in the app. Okay, you're in the app right now. Okay. So uh All right. So what am I supposed to be doing around here? So I remember that uh there were some serious things going on over here uh and i don't remember what was what i probably still have more of those demon gates to close but they should be all over the place now there's that big guy okay there's the big guy i can he's he's uh is he lord azarok and this thing can, like, this can put him under my control, can it? Okay, provided I have the right range. So is it, I know, it's going to put him under my control. Oh, look at this. So now I can, like, what What can I do? What is this going to do for me? He's going to put me uh, put him under my control. Can I? Ah! Oh, no, I bet he's after me now. Oh, yeah. I better run. Run, run, run. There's a huge demon after me. Well, I don't know what the point in making him under my control. Can you join in? You're playing a lock also. Where are you? Let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, you're in now. I think I can uh, I can uh, send, you a, send you a request. There we go. And where are you at? You are... Oh, you're not on the map here yet. Let's see. Oh, 
All right, it winter spring. Right. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, it looks like you're dead in winter spring. And uh, what? What? There's another guy too. Uh, Chronics and. Uh, Oh, someone that's in an instance. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just dang around here and do this stuff while I wait for. Now, what? Why am I supposed to to, to take control of him? I just have to kill uh, whatever name. I guess I guess I can't. Well, the point is, I guess I can't leave this area. Oh, you don't know who they are? Uh. Oh, I see. All right. Well, who's the who's the leader? They just showed up. Well, that's interesting. Let me let me uh quit and uh. I'll just send you an invite. Maybe get out of their group. I think what I'm doing here is I think I have to, uh, I think I have to, to, uh, use this thing, but I don't, what I don't want to do is, uh, what I don't want to do is, is, is uh what I don't want to do is uh is uh I don't want to uh um leave this platform. I got 2 minutes with this guy. Okay. But I definitely don't want to leave this guy. I mean, I guess I definitely don't want to uh uh, it's so he's like attacking his master. It must come as quite a shock and uh, He's got like All right, and that's a thing that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, I've got something you should be proud of how you manipulated the enemy's power and used it against them You've dealt the demons of mana rock a severe blow All right there we go. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to leave your group. Uh, yeah, it looks like you're still in the you're still in the group, whatever group it is. Now you're in Dalaran, huh? Okay. Uh, All right, let me see. Uh, I'm still like, uh, yeah, still, uh, all right, here we go. Something happened. You left, your, you left the group. You're still in the group. You have to leave that group. I think, I mean, are you, are you, does it show that you're in that group when you're, when you're not connected to me? Yeah, the invisibility for the succubus is still bugged. You you the auto the auto cast doesn't work. Uh uh, let me look again here. So are you still in that group? Yeah. Yeah, log out, log out and, and in again. They won't let you leave the group, huh? That's very interesting.
Well, this is kind of fun. All right, well, here's another... Uh... All right, there it is. Okay, I've gotten what? A gar gnarled ash staff. What? Well, that's a new. That's a new staff that I don't have. So I guess I want to put that on, don't I? And I want to take it off again. But there it is. It's got kind of a basic looking thing. Anyway, uh. The gnarled ash staff has been added to my appearances. So I've got, uh... All right. I think I got it going on here. All right, so there's that. Oh, is there another one? Oh my gosh, where'd he go? All right, very good. Okay, I was hitting him with my stick for some reason. Uh, Oh no, there's another infernal. All right, that one can be skinned, I guess. There's a little Kodo thing here. What am I supposed to be doing here? I guess I'm supposed to be okay. Uh, when you get a chance, invite me again. I will. I will. I will try. Let me see what it looks like. Uh, it says request to join group, and you can't leave your group. It kind of looks like. Looks like I can't. Can you you right click on your menu or right click on your nameplate and say leave group? Or will it not let you do that? Try Fire Gaming, thank you for the host. And uh, let's see, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, do you, do you, uh, it doesn't say, it doesn't say I'm in a group. Really? That's weird. And, um, uh, well, all I can do is uh, request to join the group, and now it's not. I don't know if it's going to let me do that. Uh, it won't let me. Okay, there we go. You invited me. That maybe that that that's perfect. That's perfect. It worked. It worked. Worked perfectly. There we go. It worked. Uh.
Uh, Baradin. Okay, no, I definitely don't want to do the Maraudin. Uh, um, I can abandon this. I don't, I'm not going to go into dungeon. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So, see, where are you here? Are you, are you, oh, I see you're on your way. Well, I'm on my way over back to, uh, let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to hit my hearth. So I'm probably going to go back to, uh, I don't know, Thargid's camp, I think. Yeah. So, uh, what? Oh, that's fine. Your my stream of consciousness is uninterruptible because it just goes wherever it goes. So no problem. You're welcome to interject in any in any way. Would you like to do voice chat, Chronix? We could get in Discord or or something if you want. Hey, Otis. Yeah, I've been well. I've been well. Uh, okay, well, that's cool. I'm glad you popped in, though. I was thinking about you today, actually. Okay, so, uh, there you are. You got the Jenkins thing going. Okay. And, uh, let's see. I'm getting out now. Uh, what would, I, um, yeah, it's nice. I've been lurking in your channel and I've, I've, uh, I've been, I had something I wanted to ask you, but I cannot now remember what it is. Uh, it's going to bug me all night now. Oh, come on. I don't know. Well, let me see here. So if I want to... Uh, all right. So here's what I'll do. Uh, well, I appreciate it. Um, am I... Am I... I'm auto-hosting you, aren't I? Uh, but my auto host display is bugged and I can't, uh, I can't, I will, I'll just shoot you a message, but I, I'm like my auto host display is bugged and I cannot tell if people are auto hosting me. Um, for some reason the display is not updating properly. So I, I auto host a lot of people and a lot of people auto host me and I, don't, they're not on the list, but I know they're auto-hosting me, but but it doesn't show up. And other streamers have had this trouble. So, uh, I'm not the only one. But, yeah, I don't see, you're not on this list, but, uh, but I have, um, I have you on my list. I'm gonna actually make absolutely sure, but I, I'm pretty sure I do. So, let me see here. Uh, yeah, I'll be on this here. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to make absolutely sure, but... Um, let's see. Underscore I am underscore O-T uh, Yeah, you're on my list. You're on my list. And, uh, um, but it doesn't show... It might not show, maybe if it shows on your list, but it doesn't show on my list. And I have like auto hosting and vodcast hosting turned on. But I don't know. All right, well, let me see if it does. Sometimes it takes a while to show even when, when it does work. But uh, let me see if it does. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out what causes that. But evidently, it's a problem with some streamers, and what they tell you to do is, uh, 
is uh, remove all your permissions and then reset everything. Um, because some things using the API, the stream or the, the, the Twitch API, somehow it it interferes with something could interfere with their with their display. So I don't know exactly what it is, but um, yeah, it doesn't show you. It doesn't show you right now. But um, I know you are auto hosting me. So, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. I'm gonna if I I'm gonna follow their advice maybe and try to figure it out. But there's a much bigger streamer than me. I can't remember his name. Like he's got like a you know he's got views in the hundreds. And I actually talked to him, and he told me he can't really figure it out. Uh, so uh, it's just a thing that happens. It's just like when 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 all of a sudden you uh, you find out you've unfollowed someone, and you never you know you never did it, but it just happens. You know, I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but it's happened to me about three times. So anyway, uh, let me see now, uh, dude, Chronix, I'm gonna, yeah, it must be, I don't know, uh, you don't know what I mean about the follow thing? Yeah, it's probably happened to me three times so far, just recently. And so, you know, like, I'm paranoid about it now, like, like, if someone says, oh, no, why did you unfollow me? I like, no, I didn't, I didn't. Please let me, you know, fix it. And so I'll go in there and see. And sure enough, it'll show that I'm not following. And then I'll refollow them. But it happens. It happens sometimes. And I don't know why. It's only been uh, like three times that I know of. So like since I've been streaming, it's been a few months. So, all right, I'm going to invite Chronix. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm trying to think, did that happen to you or not? I, no, I don't think so. But it happened to a couple of... Uh, there's one Myers Corner Gaming it happened with, and I'm, I don't remember the other two. Um, and um, so I'm going to... I'm going to... Um, I'm going to um, invite... Um, chronics to discord somehow and I'm going to figure out how to do that <laughs> alright I've done it before I know I can do it alright let me see because uh, I've got this right invite okay now I get okay copy this link and then uh, cr oenix You're flying to the auction house to copy my heirloom enchant. Uh, you know what? You can't, you can't, the head enchant, you can't get anymore. There's no way to get that. That, that head enchant, um, nine intellect and 10 versatility. Those are not, those are not in the game anymore. So any heirlooms that you have that have enchants like that, don't destroy them, everyone. All right, all right, copy this, and then Chronix. All right, I think that'll put me to, okay. I'm sending you private message. Okay, with a link, I just sent you the link, the Discord link. Okay, I did it. Uh, all right, so, uh, and then when you show up, I can put you on, um, when you show up, I can put you on, um, uh, I can put you on, um, um, voice chat. I think, I think I might have to invite you in. I don't know how it works. I, I'm very confused. So, yeah, you know, that head enchant, that's a thing of the past. I don't have, it's the only one I have is the cloth one that has a head enchant on it. That Sons of Hoder, 
that Sons of Hoder uh, rep that you can't, you can get that rep, but they don't have the head enchants anymore. I think. There was once a leather working uh, en enchant that did head and shoulders also. And there used to be shoulder enchants from the Scryers and Aldor, but I'm not sure you can get those anymore either. But there's still shoulder enchants in that are in the game now. Uh. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, well, it just I whispered it to you in uh, I whispered it to you in Twitch. Is that what you wanted? Is that what is that what I was supposed to do? C R. Let me make sure I see. Oh, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Crap. All right. C H R O E N I X. Okay, right. Okay, I got to do it again. I think I spelled it wrong. C H R O E N I X. There we go. There it is. Okay, here we go. There you go. All right, you should get it now. Oh, wait, it says this user settings prevent them from receiving this whisper. I don't know what your user settings are, but I can't whisper this to you, evidently. Maybe if you whisper to me, I can whisper back. Uh, my alarm, I gotta get an alarm, I'll be right back. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All right. See, it says, it says, uh, okay. It says, um, the user settings prevent them from receiving this whisper. Um, am I not following you? Uh, well, see, this could be that thing again. <laughs> Oh, hang on a second. Uh, if I click, if I... Here, let me see. C-H-R-O-E-N-I-X, or is it 1-X? Oh. No. I think I got the wrong one here. Hang on. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. C H R O E N I X. Okay, wait, maybe C H R O E N I X. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, there you go. All right, hang on. I just sent you the link. I sent you the link. Okay, got it. Got it sent. I sent it to the right person. Uh, okay. All right. Now, now what what happens?
All right. I'll do a little dance. Oh, you got your, uh, you got your, um, uh, you got your succubus out now. There's also about three glyphs to make those look different. Now, is yours like taller than mine or are they the same size? I guess they're, I guess they're the same. I don't remember them being so small. Were they always small like that? I guess, I guess they are. Oh, okay, now wait, uh, where are you? Uh, all right, you should be in. Where are you? You're in text channels. Oh, you're in the voice channel. Okay. All right. So, uh, hang on here a second. Uh, Discord is not muted, so I, I don't know what to expect here. Uh, oh, do I have to? I have to go in here too, right? There we go. All right, you might want to turn down the, you might want to turn down my stream then. I'll be confused listening to that. Uh, I can hear you typing. I'm good. I'm good. How are you, man? Yeah, pretty much. I I didn't I had I had a, I had a lot of IRL stuff today. And so I didn't get to I didn't get to actual streaming until uh just you know just uh like an hour ago. So Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, so I don't know what I was doing. I, oh, I was, where am I? How am I here? Oh, I guess here is where the, here is where the inn is. That's why. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can hear, I, you got my stream. Is that my stream or what am I hearing? Oh, uh, no, that's fine. I was getting an echo there at first, but now it's now it's fine. I guess I can go back here and turn these in then, right? I got to be getting close to done in Desolus, I think. Let me see what my uh, what my um, uh, Kalimdor quests here. Where is Desolus? That's got to be here, right? Yeah, there's one more thing. Threats from Sartheris's stand. That's the last one. So I think I might be finished up here in Desolus. So now I'm flying over to, um, I'm flying over to, uh, uh, are you still there? Is it still working? Oh, I see. Something, something wacky is happening. I'm not hearing you, I just hear me. Uh, so, uh, you got my attention. Infertile encroachment. Uh, watch your back. Off with you. All right. Uh, interest, Yana Pine. I got the overlay now. I wonder if the overlay is showing showing on the the stream I don't know if it will but it shows like on my on my screen it shows uh, when I talk and when you talk it shows on my on my game 
but I think I have that turned off to otherwise it would show on the stream too. It, uh, it, I guess it's possible to get it to show on the stream. All right, so let's see. Lobstrock roam all Thief. over the web. There's like, uh, um, oh, fixing your side. Okay, sure. No, that's no problem. Uh, I guess, uh, let's see. Um, now, is that it really? I have to get tenderloins and stuff, and that counts for, for the whole Manorock coven thing or what? All right, so I don't know why that has anything to do with it. But, uh, Randall's satchel. Randall's satchel is going to be over here. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what. I must have been really tired that night, too, because I'll tell you, uh... Oh! There they are. All right. I don't know why those lobster things are considered to be humanoids. That's always been confusing. So, uh, um, well, I don't know what to say, man. It, it was working perfectly, so I could hear you fine originally. So, I don't know. Uh,. I just sort of remember this dock here as being something. I, I just don't remember. Is this like a horde base? Is that what this is? Oh, I heard something. I can hear you now. So what was that? No, I mean, what was that sound? Um. No, no, that's fine. What I, what I meant was, what was that... Uh, what was that, um, uh, what was causing that, that? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, hang on, let me, let me look here. Uh, and so that is under, you click, I click user settings, right? Okay. And then overlay, and uh, I can click never if I want to shut that display names off. Okay. I'll turn it off then. Yeah. I mean, it's cool that it can get on the stream without having to put it into OBS, but it is pretty neat. But I don't know how I don't know how they do that, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a meme, I know. I was watching PewDiePie the other day, and it was a meme like the FBI meme. The FBI is listening meme. Uh, the FBI is watching your web camera. You know, I wink at the FBI before I go to a porn site or something. You know, that's like the... That's the, that's the, the FBI meme. So... Uh, let's see. Uh, well, there might be, but, um, the now, if it, if I, if, is there a way, is there a way without the light going on? Uh, that's what yeah. I'm, that's what I, uh, I've been meaning to research that actually. So, yeah, I'll, my, the light goes on when you when it feed it's a hardware it's a hardwired thing so the light goes on when your webcam is 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 feeding video so 
when when the light is off, it's not feeding video. But there might be a way for the government actually to intervene that if they have like a search warrant or if there maybe there is a backdoor way of doing that. I don't know. It, it could very well be. But uh, anyway, let's see. My sisters and I have come down from the Stone Talon Mountains to put an end to the put put a re put to rest a tragedy from ages fa past. Unfortunately, we're not powerful enough to accomplish our goals on our own and now seek mortals such as yourself to aid us. If you are powerful enough, then we have much to discuss, Warlock. If you are not, then for our safety, I will leave the details of my mission out of our conversation. All right, well, she doesn't have anything to say to me right now. So I don't know if that's like a thing left over from the old days, from the vanilla days or what. Uh, I'm not sure, but... But I have to, uh, I have to do this, uh, I don't know, I thought I was done with Desolus, but then after I turned in all that warlocky stuff, um, all that demony stuff, uh, I had to, uh, it gave me this quest to get these lobsters, and that was like another quest, so... And then I and then I come over here and I see there's these dryads here. I don't remember them being here before. Because I'm pretty sure I went up here and I discovered this horde base. Uh because I've got the map. I think I've got the map 100 percent discovered now. But I don't remember these dryads being here. Is there trouble? Is there trouble? Hi. Hi. What is nature's call? What is nature's call? Ah, the great outdoors. What? Since uh, the very end of Vanilla or the very beginning of Burning Crusade, so that's 11 or 12 years or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Oh, Warlords of Draenor, yeah, so that's when you started. So did you, what was your first class? A hunter. What? Oh no, that's right. It's not. Uh, but it made it. It made it. Um, it in a way it was kind of cool because it allowed people to experience raid content, you know, without grinding for months and months and months. Um, you know, to get the best gear, you could. You could. You know, you could get. You could you could experience raid content at, at the easiest level. Um, yeah, and just and just and yeah, and just play just just do just do pug raiding. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, maybe a couple hours total. I'm not sure. I could I could go longer. It's hard to say. This is like what? Say that again. Yeah, I got um I have um actually I have this thing called delayed sleep phase, so I'm always up and I'm always up at different times. You knew you do. I hope you don't have it. It's a pain in the butt. Really? Yeah. Ah, yeah, I've heard I've heard people do that. Yeah, but the light box helps, huh? Like in the So you do the light box in the morning then. Oh, maybe I should, maybe I should try that again and see if that could help me actually be on a normal schedule. That'd be interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, that's good. Maybe maybe you reset your brain. Well, sometimes it can. Sometimes it can. It's actually. Oh, what the, what spec are you, by the way? So what does that do for you? And uh, it, yeah. You cannot command me. All right, right. I, I, yeah. This guy, um, I do not have that one. No. No, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm destruction. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Affliction. Affliction. Yeah, sorry. They're going to change it a lot. They, as they, they always do. Um, it's almost like you're starting over from scratch because they change everything so much and you don't know. Basically, you don't know anything when you, you know, you have, you know, that they, they just they do that every expansion like, um, you know, you may have your favorite attack combo and that'll be totally ruined when uh, when 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 they have another expansion. Uh, um, but I mean, like hunters back in the day, hunters used to use 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 ma mana and they also add melee attacks. Yeah, they, their primary thing. And, and 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 in vanilla, all the stats affected you. Like, so there was, well, now what they call versatility used to be spirit. And, uh, and, and, uh, but the five main stats, they all did something for every class. And so they, they simplified it a lot. Like, my, f it was harder. And, and, like, everything was harder to do. And, it, like, the quests that you, um, you had to do, like, there were group quests. And you could not do them alone. You would die. You would die. And in fact, you know, like even the starting area was so hard that you could get killed easily in the very, as a level one or two, you could get killed easily if you weren't careful. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah, but you can like it's it's got it's got some cool like like leaps and uh, it can it can glide a demon under can glide. Uh, it's got like a demon under has wings, so you can you can you can uh, you can go like uh, um, demon under can go like can glide, so it can it can fly it can it can it can like scoot forward really fast it has an attack that goes like and it goes through it go you go right through things and you do massive damage it's pretty cool really but um but they can uh, they can also they can also they they can't fly but they can glide and they can glide really far so uh yeah you start out at level 100, I think, with them. Or level 98 or something like It's kind of like, you know how a Death Knight is? You start at 55. And then when you leave the starting area, you're basically 58. It's kind of like that, only it's even higher up. I have, well, I have one of each class right now. And I have two hunters, too, because I made a panda. And I played with my my very first one was a warrior, and uh, that one was really hard in, in vanilla because there was no heal. Now the warrior now has a heal, and uh, you know it has like it has like one or two abilities that actually do some healing, and uh, um, they don't they don't do that anymore. I mean I mean I mean back then they didn't they didn't have that. It was. You know, you had to drink a health potion. That was your only thing you could do. 
Yeah, it was hard. It was a hard class, but it was also the best tank in the game. So, uh... There... I didn't tank, really. I mean, I, mo I learned to tank a little later, but they were like, um... They were like, um... Uh, warriors were the tanks. They were the best tank in the game. You know? And, um, there's pal now there's pally tanks and there's druid tanks. And I mean, you can tank with other things, but, um, yeah, yeah. Makes, makes sense. So what part, what part of the country are you in? Or are you in another country? You're in Texas. I'm in Arizona. Small town in Arizona. Small town in Arizona. Grew up in Phoenix, but I live in a small town in Arizona. Oh, I guess I got enough lobsters. Now what am I supposed to do? There's like a mark here. It says do what? It says Brendan all satchel. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's see what his satchel. Oh wait, there. There, there he is. Okay. So did you grow up in Texas? So you, you got, so you've got a, so that's a Texas accent I'm hearing, but it's pretty, it's pretty muted. Like it's not like, it's not like really thick though. Like, it sounds it sounds pretty middle America, really, with with just a little lilt. But I mean, I, I I don't know. I like the South. I like Southern accent. So it's I think it's nice sounding anyway. But um, but I grew up in Phoenix, and uh, well, there's not much of one. Um, uh, Arizona doesn't have that much of an accent, really. But I also uh, was born in New Jersey, so um, um, I have some of that. I have some of that in my speech because uh, I was, uh, you know, like in first or second grade when I left New Jersey. So I have a little of that left in my, you know. Uh, he say what? Say that again. I hate everyone. I hate everyone the same. Well, it sounds like a new sounds like a New Jersey uh, attitude. But there is like a lot of my a lot of friends of mine moved to Texas like, you know, when they got older. Friends that are a little older than me, they they, they moved to Texas and they retired there or they like it just like it there. They think everyone's really friendly and um I don't know. It's 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 probably true, I guess. But uh, yeah. Talk to me. Safe travels. Hi. Well, I mean, it, it depends on like, and you know, the Texas has a. Uh, you got the say so, so, silver silver seven. Um, asked me if I have the WoW books yet. I don't have any WoW books. Uh, you mean like novels? Is that what you mean? I don't know. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, I guess that's how they when they made the movie, um, you know, they 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 drew on a lot of that stuff, I guess. But I mean, I mean, like, uh, um, so what am I? Am I done or no? Um, I guess not. I, I guess I'm going to go back to the other place. I'm not going to fly, though. I think I'm just going to ride. Well, I just take the Griffin, I mean. I can I can get um I can get my uh I can get my um oh yeah oh the the well, I have more of the lore figures 
I guess he says. Why more allure, I guess. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. So, like, uh, the movie, you know, the movie had some lore elements in it um, that were, like, uh, um, uh, I don't know if you saw the movie. But, I mean, it's 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 about what you would expect in, in that it's not very good, but it looks incredible. It looks incredible. It is gorgeous. And uh, um, all the makeup and the CGI characters all mixed together really pretty well, and it all looks really good. But but it 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 doesn't it doesn't really I mean it's not it's not a very it's not a very uh, it's not a very well made movie as far as the oops as far as the storyline goes. Um, you know, it's it could it could be much better. It could I mean, you know seems like they could have invested a little bit of money on a better script writer, and it would have been much more entertaining. Because I mean, after they they spent millions and millions and millions of dollars making it, you know, on the on the technicals, and then it seems like they could have uh, just had a slightly better story, and it, you know, it wasn't a very coherent story, but it was but it was really cool looking, which is basically what you know you. I, you kind of expect. That's kind of what I expected. So, um, looked about how I expected. I mean, I looked in a way. It looked better than I expected. It definitely looked. I mean, I I think that visually it was it was it was very very cool. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And they and and they really uh they have actually always oh I don't want to go to the horde base, do I? Uh uh where is it? It's over here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going this way. I'm going to the I'm going to the, the alliance base. I don't want to go to the horde base because I'll be killed immediately. You know where you definitely don't want to go is you don't want to go to like the, the other faction's starting zone. Because the guards in the starting zone are like 115 elites. <laughs> yeah, but they do. Uh, but you know what? There's usually a way you can sneak in. Like one time I made a blood elf. This is back in Burning Crusade. I made a blood elf and I ran all the way to Elwyn Forest with a level one blood elf. And I found one place where you could get over the wall and avoid the guards. And then I went down and in, into the newbie area and I just helped the newbies fight. I it was just, this was on Crush Ridge and it was a PVP server too. So I would have been, I was, I was permanently flagged there. So I couldn't turn my flag off so they could kill me accidentally. But I didn't get killed by any newbies, though. Uh, so let me see. Uh, um, okay, now let's see. what he, Yes, Warlock, not only do I know what this is, I just know how you should use it. I know just how you should use it. I recognize this foul creation. It's a terrible disease that kills almost instantly and in a most virulent, violent manner, loath as I am to employ such devices, I fear we have no choice here. Who do we who do we want to use it on? Uh, the Naga remain a serious threat. We're back to the Naga again. The time has come for us to drive them back into the sea. Okay, when you are ready, Grimfeather will take you to the cre crevice where they are preparing a violent assault. Oh, I know where that is. I know where that crevice is because I just, I think, I think I do because I think I found it. I think I found it uh, while I was... Uh, okay, so this is going to be... If you don't have this quest, you can't get on this griffin. So I'm going to get on the... Okay. I'm going to get on here, and then let's see. I'm gonna, I have a throw, concoction, and fly home. That's all. I'm just going to throw the concoction. So that's all. I got the stuff. I'm going to toss it in the trench. See, here it is. I think this is it. Is this it where the naga is? It'll let me know when I. Here we go. I can. Th I can. How many do I need to? Okay. 
I need to uh, just, I can just uh, keep, I'm throwing this poison. It's a bombing run. Uh, are you really? No, really. You can see me. I can't. I can't see you. You're 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 too far. Uh... Really? Where where? How can you go so fast? Oh, the bird's going slow. The bird's going two hundred. Are you on? F yeah. When I was on my horse, I still have the slow speed mount. I just hit level 40 and I haven't gotten my fast riding speed yet. Okay, can I kill those guys too? Those giants? Oh, I can. I can. I can kill the giants. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to just keep, uh, I'm supposed to just keep poisoning these guys until it says I've done enough, I guess. So. I am on, um, I am on, uh, um, the Scryers. It's an RP server, yeah, but I don't do, I don't do RP, but I just picked it sort of at random because it's basically the same rules as a, uh, PVE server. And I thought, oh, can I, oh, can I poison the basilisks? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, I want to try that, but... I can only poison the stuff down in here. Um, so yeah, I'm on the scryers, and uh, as far as 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 far as I I discovered, the only difference between um, between an RP server and a regular PVE server is that they will enforce a RP naming convention. So in other words, if you're so you can't be like Hot Babe sixty nine or something like that. Uh, you could you, you you have to have like a you have to have a, a name name, you know, and they'll flag it for a name change. Are you really? Oh, so you so you know all about that then. Right. Work complete. Yeah. But you know, there's not a lot of role playing going on on this server. Worm, worm rest, worm rest, worm rest accord. Yeah. 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 Worm rest accord. Uh. I know there's Moon Guard. Uh, people make fun of Moon Guard because that's where all the ERPers go. That's erotic roleplay. I just recently learned that term too. I uh, no, you know, I was not, I was not uh, playing a Futanari Dren Drenai girl or something. No, I was not. No, <laughs> I was not. They they do. That's what it is. They hang in, they hang out in Goldshire and in particularly on Moonguard. But I've never been on Moonguard. But I've just I've seen the I've seen the machinima making fun of it. You know. So like so like yeah like Wow Crendor has hilarious ones or Nixium is another guy that makes a lot of them and they're just really funny. Yeah. Oh, Nixium's live streams. He, he li he does he live stream a little he, he I think they all do a little bit. Uh another good one is slightly impressive. He's on YouTube, but he also streams on Twitch. And he's really funny too. His his machinima are really funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going I'm going faster now. It says I'm going 320 cuz I'm going back home. I'm going back to the base.
I suck at it completely. I mean, if I'm a lamer and I suck, I definitely suck at PvP. Although I'm not as I'm not as bad as it as I used to be. Um, um, I, it's not my thing. It's like too much adrenaline for me or something. <laughs> no, it'll be you'll be you'll you'll just you'll just end up hating me because I suck. But you sound you sound really laid back. But man, I, I I'll just fail with a capital P every single time. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you, like, um, when I did um, back when back in Lich King. Okay, the only Wrath of Lich King that was before um that was when in order to go like the fastest riding speed or flying speed. You actually had to have a specific mount for that. And because I didn't raid and because I didn't PvP, there was really only one or two mounts I could get that were the full, like, 4-10% speed. Um, and so, uh, and the one the one I could get was was the, the Violet Proto Drake, because that was just an achievement, right? So you had to, com you had to complete all the holidays, etc. But... Some of the holidays had PvP objectives in the achievements also. Okay, so like one of them was like you had to carry the flag like I can't remember like so many times or something like that. You had to successfully carry the flag in Eye of the Storm. All right, and I was a paladin too, so not suited for carrying the flag, right? Okay, so all I did was I just kept going into it and carrying the flag and getting killed over and over. And I probably got in that instance 40, 40 almost 50 times, okay? And and I grabbed the flag, I'd run, and you know, like every time I tell this story, they go, well, you bubble up and you, you know, I, I know that, okay? But a good PVPer is gonna know how long your bubble is gonna last and they're gonna kill you as soon as it stops. <laughs> so, so um, there's nothing you can do, really. I mean, especially when you suck. But, but okay. So what? what <laughs> it was funny. But so I, I just grab the flag and run, and I just constantly get killed. So after about almost 50 instances, like I came in at 50 times. Yeah, at least probably 47. It seemed like I was because I was keeping track and it wasn't quite yet 50. I know I remember that. So um, I went in there and then finally I went to the flag and I didn't see anything. I just picked up the flag and ran and were and I just brought it to a base. And then I said, wow, I did it once so I can do it. So like I it must they were like it, it, either. I, and then, you know, with that entire thing, I never saw another player anywhere. I never saw, I, I never saw another, like another horde player. I saw a couple Alliance players at the beginning, but I never saw, I never saw a horde player. And I kind of wonder if it wasn't an achievement run that I just stumbled into. Like, okay, Fred, now it's your turn to carry the flag. You know, <laughs> kind of, they did, they did something like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, but but I mean, they weren't they weren't. I wasn't in there with any specific group or anything. I just went in there. I just queued. I queued. I queued over and over, and I just just as myself, you know, I queued over and over, and eventually, I just got lucky with a. Uh, with a battleground that had nobody ever, you know, they were all AFKing in the starting zone, or maybe they were taking turns carrying the flag, or that's what I figure probably. But but I but I was able to. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you get on like when I first when I first started, like my friend that got me into WoW wanted me to go into battlegrounds, so I went into them, you know, and so we'd get. We'd voice chat. Well, we'd get on the phone since we knew each other. We'd just get on the phone, and I'd just wear a headset. And, uh, Cadbid! Good to see you, man. Uh, so let's see. What have I done here? Do I have anything else to do? Uh, didn't I? Did I just finish? Uh, what, what's happened? 
report to Talon. Oh, report to Talon Wind Flight at Dreamer's Rest in Feralus. And okay, I could do Dust Wallow Marsh or Fell or Feralus. But since I'm here, let me see. I think that's it. I think that's that was the last quest. There's always a few you could miss and still complete the achievement, but. You know, there, there's sometimes there's, uh, but I mean, I have Lore Master already on my main from from uh, the Lich King days. But you know what's really funny? Okay, so I finally did this PvP objective, right? Because I, I get lucky, I'm carrying the flag, carrying the flag, carrying the flag, and then boom, I got it, right? Okay, so then I had the whole thing. Then there was like one thing from Halloween. I needed the Hallowed Helm, and I thought I had it and sold it. But I had a GM look into it and tell me that no, I never had it. I just had the the, the throwaway one, and so so uh, so then um, so then I had to uh, I had to wait until hallowed hallowed just to, for that one thing, just to get the helm from the from the uh, from the from the pumpkin that the headless horseman throws down. And then I had the achievement. Then I got the purple Drake, right? And then I had a 310 speed bound. But then almost like just not not probably too. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, so so then not 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 two weeks later, probably one one to two weeks later, I was flying through. Uh, I was flying flying through Northwind Rind, and I saw the time lost proto drake and i aggroed him down and killed him and then i had the time lost which is which is really rare it's a it's a, as it's as rare as the uh as the seahorse there's a seahorse that you can get in vashir that you can use anywhere not just in vashir and uh you got the bit you got do you have the seahorse that you can use anywhere no oh no i don't have it I don't have it. I don't have it. I never got it. Um, I do have the turtle, the undersea. That took forever to grind down, grind out. It took me weeks. I You had to fish up and down in the Crystal Song Forest. You just had to fish. Uh, but see, it doesn't, it goes, and you know, you don't need, um, you don't need um, um, uh, riding skill to ride it either. But it only, but it's only good in the water. It's it it goes regular running speed on land, so um, it's a special case. And then of course I also have the heirloom mount now, which you can use at level one. And it used to go, and it's good for leveling alts, right? But it used to go only 140 speed, and now they they upped it to 160, so it's basically the same speed as a regular ground mount. See, where are you? Where did you go? Oh, right. I'm... Oh! <laughs> you didn't set your hearth here. Oh, you're way out somewhere. So anyway, well, you can see it on the stream. This is the turtle, but let me see. So the, the heirloom mount, I, I'll get it out. I Because I don't think I have it on my... Um, chopper yeah here we go here it is I don't have the regular I don't have the real chopper but I still don't have it uh, the one you have to uh, um, but this one is a chauffeured ch chopper so the idea is you don't have riding skills so you have a chauffeur and you're, you're sitting in the sidecar see <laughs> at level one at level one. Oh, look, I noticed I've... Oh, I never even took a look at it closely. Like, there's a like there's a map with a rock sitting on it, holding it down. And uh, the, I, the license plate says Pwn. And... Uh... But I still don't have... Like, I, I still don't have the regular chopper. And I should get it. Um, it's just one of the mounts, and it's like an achievement. It's called Get to the Choppa. You know, like Arnold Schwar Get to the Choppa, Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
Uh, get to the chopper. Um, but uh, but I do have this one, and this one you get by um. Th this one is an achievement reward, so you get like uh. You have this one by. You get it by collecting. You collect it. You get it by collecting heirlooms. So. That's why you got it. You you have a lot of heirlooms. You have to. Well, that's how you got it. You got it by having enough ear heirlooms. Like I did heirloom grinding over in the, um, the Argent tournament because that's a good place to get them without paying anything. You know, just by doing quests. And so I got like I got like a bunch of heirlooms from there, and you can even upgrade your heirlooms to tier one, um, for free there too. I mean, if you it's not for free, it's for time. You still have to spend the time doing it, but. But if you have like if you have like three characters do those quests every day, you can you can get one upgrade item every day. Or one heirloom, you know, or whatever. So I I I did at one time because of, of there was an achievement. But I don't have the next one, like so I have let me see, when it comes to mounts. It shows I have 165. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> no, that can't be right. Hang on. Is that is that right, really? Uh, I think that's total, but I don't think that's how many I have. How many? Is that really how many I have? I think it is. I mean, I think it. I think it's right. I guess that's right. Okay, because because you have to get a hundred to get the sun, the sun. Strider or the Sun Hawk or something like that. Sun something. What is it called? Uh, sun. No. S N S O. No. So it's uh. What is it called? I I cannot remember. Um. It's called. It's a something Strider. Like or or a, you know what? Sun Strider or something like that or or. What the heck is? What the heck is it called? I'm looking. I'm looking down the, and I got like the. I got the um, all the Nether Drakes, and I got the. But I didn't get like all the, you know. In in after after a while, I didn't. Is it, uh, Strider? I know I was looking at S T R I D E R. I think maybe it's not. No, that's not it. It's uh. That's not what it is. It's called uh, what is that thing called the um. Ah, uh, you know, it's one of those flying ones that 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 Sunhawk or something like Sun Not Sun, it doesn't have Hawk. That's it, the blue blue dragon hawk. There it is. There it is, blue dragon hawk. That's the one you get uh you get for for getting a hundred mounts, you get this. So I was trying to do it. I can't fly right now, so it doesn't matter, but um, we are self-aware epiphenomena of the mathematically tautological manifestation. Are we indeed? Are we indeed, Falcon? Are we indeed? <laughs> Uh, well, can I just plead the fifth? How's that? If I if I if I say I don't, that that's fine because I'm a lamer and I suck. But if I say I do, then that like uh, um, that makes me not that makes me not a lamer. So maybe I don't know. I'm I'm familiar with what he's talking about. Yeah. Actually, oh, I shouldn't have said I shouldn't have said that. But I have I have a math background, so. Although this is more, this is more philosophy, math, terminology than it's more philosophy stuff than math stuff, really. Yeah. There's a you know when you study philosophy, you also study a certain types of math, like logical, like lo like like um uh, like um um uh like um um. 
Um. Uh, um. Well, you know, lo logic, lo the math of logic that you also use in computer science, you also use in philosophy. So, uh, so it, it's it's used in it's used it's taught it's taught in philosophy classes also. Yeah, Lisp. Yeah, absolutely. That is an unusual one for a first language. Um, there's a, there's there's actually a number of scripting languages that are based on it that I learned. When I I, I actually learned, uh, um, I um, yeah, the, I know that's what I was gonna say. I I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking I don't think I can solve the 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 Raman hypothesis. But, you know, I would, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, it's the noodles. Yes, it's the noodles. Yeah, I know, huh? But, uh, um, I don't know. See, the trouble is when people find out you're like, you, you, you have a math background, then they start asking you all this stuff. And it's, I think it's really boring to talk about on a stream. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> did he said, did I used to get high a lot? No, I didn't. I did not used to get, I did not used to get high a lot, but I, I, I do not, I don't, you know what? Um, it's, it's to be per perfectly, to be perfectly serious. Um, it's one of those things where, where it doesn't, it doesn't give me a good feeling. So, so, you know, like, like some people really like it and my experience was not pleasant. So, um, you know, so for some reason, I don't know, you know, that's, I mean, of course I tried it when I was a kid, but I mean, I, I really actually didn't enjoy it. So, I mean, I like more, you know, I don't have, I don't have the, the, I don't have the addictive gene like some people do, but I do like the feeling of being drunk a little bit every once in a while. It can be really fun, you know, but, but it's not, you know, something I do all the time. I hardly ever do it. In fact, when sometimes I'll get, I'll get sort of a, uh, Oh, you know, and that's like when, and Cadbid, that's when people smoke cigarettes too. They usually start when they were like 10. That's usually what, what I, that's what I remember, you know. Uh, but I didn't, you know, it's not really, I mean, it's, I don't know about envy. It's, I mean, I didn't, I actually had to, uh, you tried to drink, Falcon Lombardi, you tried to drink a beer and threw up. Well, I mean, I can drink a beer or two or three, but I mean, I don't do it very often. And uh, I like the taste of it. So, you know, it does go, it does go well. It's, it's true what they say. It goes well with pizza. So, <laughs> absolutely. You know, beer, beer and pizza. Oh uh, my, maybe, I don't know. It depends on what it is. You know, they use it for, uh, they use it for pain control and nausea control in medicine, you know, and, and, uh, um, well, see you later, man. See you later, Cadbid. So, uh, yeah, Cadbid's cool. You hit, are you in the Arctic Falcon?
Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I didn't get to streaming very early today because I had IRL stuff to do. So I was going to do my usual, uh, you know, uh, three, two hour streams. But this time I Falcons don't like the winter. You wouldn't think you're in Ohio. Is that cold, cold Ohio area? Ohio can be cold, right? Chicago, Chicago's Illinois, right? But, but I just, yeah, you just moved to Michigan from Ohio. You lived there your entire life, Cadbit. Oh, I see. So you're familiar. Is it very cold then? Southwest Ohio near Cincy. Okay. Well, Cincy's not too bad. I, I, I have a family there. I have some family there. Um, actually, they're in the Kentucky, they're on the Kentucky side of Cincinnati. Cincinnati is one of those border, those border cities, like like Portland, Oregon. I used to live in Portland, Oregon, and Vancouver, Washington is like connected to it too. Yeah, Newport, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I don't, I don't know. Yeet, it's just a cheer, I think. Kentucky, yeet. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's basically, uh, they don't sound like they're from Kentucky. They sound they're, they sound like they're from Cincinnati because Kentucky, Kentucky, um, Kentucky proper is a very, is a very thick accent. You know, it's a thicker accent and, and, uh, but the, but the, but the, the Newport Kentucky people, they sound like they're from Cincinnati. So they sound basically the same. Because it's like two cities right on the border and they're right connected together. Oh, that that's that's probably because I mean, I can hear a little trace of I can I can hear a trace of the southern accent in, in, in your in your voice a little bit, but it's very muted. It's very, it's very subtle, which is good, you know, but I mean, but it's, but it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an, you know, I think it's pleasant. It's pleasant sounding. You have a pleasant sounding voice, you know, no homo, but I'm just, you know, I'm saying, you know, it's, 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 it's you have a good voice. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. People say though, That's a thing. It's like another meme or something to say that. Yeah, but. But you know, they, they'll say that, you know, yeah, they'll say that too, because like, uh, they'll they'll say that too, because because like they're making it like, I love you, man, kind of, kind of, kind of vibe, you know? And so they have to, it's like, I love you, man. I love you, man. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I don't know. Back and forth. I, I think I have to go to, uh, I have to go to, um, I have to go to Feralus, which is, which is, uh, up here or down here, I guess. Yeah, so I think I've got... Oh, I've got Heroes Call Feralus, so I can go there. I've got that. <clears throat> or or I could go to... Let me see. Or I could go to Dust Wallow Marsh, but that sounds boring. Let me see. Uh, let me see what... Let me. But I'm also kind of... With the characters I'm starting over, like this this, this Warlock I re-rolled. And um, so uh, let me see. Oh, Dust... So Dust Wallow Marsh... Fellwood, Feralus. Those are the three uh, things that it says I've never done. Although I have done them several times, but since patch 7.3, whatever, uh, some of those things they changed. So there's a couple of things that they won't be exactly the same as they were. So um, I noticed when I did Westfall recently that Westfall was different. Like, um, there was like a 
after the cataclysm, um, they changed everything. And it's basically the same, but right at the end, it's a little different. Like there's supposed to be, it used to be like right at the end, um, uh, the Saldine girl reve revealed that she was, uh, she was uh, um, Vanessa Van Cleef. And uh, then there's a big battle and you have to fight in this battle. Well, they took the battle out, but they used to take, they used to take the, there used to be the battle and then the, uh, and then, and then the, after the battle was over, which you would lose, then the flight point would be in a different place than it used to be. And now they changed it. Yeah. They changed it where, yeah, right. And so now they now they just uh, now they just kind of like uh, leave it hanging, and they leave the flight path where it is instead of moving it. Maybe the the movable flight path was causing a problem in some because of some patch or something. So they decided they didn't want to have flight paths moving around. That that was my guess. I really don't know. I didn't. Write, I'm sure the patch notes probably have something about why they did it, but. Uh, Hey, Cadbid. Gotta go. You need to ask one last thing. What's up? Did I play WoW when real world PvP was live? Well, I was right after that, actually. Um, um, you know, they, well, in the BC era, yes, but. But um, by the time I started playing, they didn't have Infamy and uh, um, uh, some guy turned into a zombie and when he killed someone, they turned into a zombie. Oh, that was uh, that was uh, pre uh, Cataclysm. That, or no, no, pre-Lich King. That was pre-Lich King, the pre-Lich King event. Oh, yeah, I love that. The zombie. Okay, I actually got turned into... I did this on purpose. I had a plan. So I was like... I was like, because you could, you turned into a zombie and it made you hostile. So I wanted to kill Topper McNabb in Stormwind. You know, he's the guy that, that's like in the back behind the auction house and he just is kind of like a vagrant. He's just like, you know, he's a hobo back there. He's always complaining how it's everybody else's fault that he lost his farm and everything. And uh, um, and then he does Eddie Murphy lines from the movie Trading Places. Yeah. Anyway, I've been dying to kill him. So, <laughs> but, but so, so I turned into a zombie and it took me a few tries but I shambled up there and I killed Topper McNabb before any guards. He could, because all the guards were turned into zombies too, so there wasn't anyone to help him, you know? So I was able to, because before that, you know, right, you know, before that, the only way to kill him was to sneak in there as a rogue, you know, as a member of the horde, you could, you could kill him that, that way. But, um, But I, but I, but I shambled, I shambled up there as a zombie and I managed to kill him before I died. Cause you, you had a short lifespan as a zombie. You die, you know, you die after a little while. So yeah, it was, it was just a pre-expansion event, which, which it, it went on for maybe a week or a few days or not very long though. Yeah. I've been playing since since the very beginning of Burning Crusade, which was that that was you could go up to level seventy. The original the original vanilla game you could go up to level sixty, and but I didn't have the Burning Crusade expansion until like a few weeks after I started playing. I just bought the first one, and back then the vanilla game would like. It was still the vanilla game, basically, and if you bought the expansion, then the map would change, and the new races and their and their lands, like the map, would actually change. And now, the map doesn't change when you buy a new expansion. It's 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 they 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 add stuff on, but basically, the world is always the same for everyone. Yeah, I don't. 
I don't know. I mean, it's going to end up as a stalemate because obviously there has to be a horde and an alliance at the end. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. That's not a bad, that's not a bad guess, actually. Maybe that's what will happen. Yeah. Peace, friend. Yeah, like old like old gods or something. Be careful. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm oh uh Cadbid's asking who I'm talking to. It's uh it's Chronix. You say Chronix or Chronix, okay. Chronix. Okay. Okay, because you're trying to be my shadow. Oh, speaking of which, I guess I should be going to, uh, I guess I should be going to, um, a Feralus at least to go get started. I, that, I mean, I think I might be taking a break now. Maybe I should eat dinner or something. Uh, but let me see if I have that. I bet I don't have that flight point. I bet I don't. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, sure, if you want. But, uh, I'm... I'm gonna... Goddess, watch over. But he heroes, heroes call Feralus, then. Feralus. So I'm gonna fly over to my closest flight point and then ride down, I guess. And then see if there's an inn. I hopefully there's an inn. But at least then I'll have the flight point, even if there is no inn. I don't know, so there's a lot this all changed. There used to be such neat things uh in Feralus, but after the cataclysm they made neat things too. They added different neat things. So there's like now the the flight point used to be on the island, and now it's on the land. And now there's like a giant. If you want to go to the island, you can get on the giant's back and the giant will carry you to the island. Cadbid hears the sound of crickets chirping. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's what command, that's a command I put in there. I also have lamer ban, but lamer ban doesn't do anything though. It's just for, You mean like uh, uh, um, the request song? I don't have I don't have that. I don't have song request. I I um. No, I don't have that yet. I don't have that, or you know, um, because I usually the reason I don't have it is because I have the uh, I have the uh, um, yeah. Be careful if you turn on song request. He says. <laughs> I wonder. Is that what? Because people like people like do like like uh, parental guidance lyrics, and you can get in trouble, or you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who Justin Bieber is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I I would probably ban someone for playing Justin Bieber. Oh, okay, uh, because, oh wait, can you get them on, um, well, there's the two things, there's the, there's the adventure guide, that's that, you know, that's that you, that's right next to your horse, collect your, your mount collection on your menu, there's that, so check that, and then check the, 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 you know, because sometimes you can, there's different things on, on each one, so sometimes you, well, I can, I can, maybe I can share this with you. Can I share this? Let me see. Share quest. Here we go. I did a share. Did you get it? You might not be able to. You might have started it already, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, Feralus. Heroes Call Feralus. F-E-F-E-R-A-L-A-S. It won't, it won't let me share that one, I guess. But you can get it off one of the boards if you haven't. I mean, you might be too... Even if you're a higher level, I think you can still get it. Uh, right... Right tonight, I think maybe... Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm not going to... Uh, Uh, so he'll try to he'll try to get you banned. He is in seventy five percent of Twitch. I don't know what that means, but um, yeah. Yeah. Really? For that? Oh. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a good name, actually. It's a it's a pretty good nickname. I mean mine mine was like my my nickname is just because uh um well, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I'm sure. You know, I I would get. But I mean, I never say anything. I don't even say. I probably said. I've probably said. Like, I don't. I, I hardly even say darn. I mean, I might have said. I might have said damn. Like, I just said it now. I I said it. I said, I've probably said it twice in the last three months on the stream, and uh, you know, but it's pretty tame here. Sure. Yeah. Like, does he like, does he wear an ape suit or something? <laughs> Neander Neanderthal. He just has that he just has that resemblance. That's interesting. So that's so that's just his thing. He's a comedian, but he just has kind of a he just kinda of has that. He just kind of has that look. Well, he sounds like he's, he sounds pretty funny. I mean, a lot of people get banned like, like Soda Poppin got banned for, he doesn't even know for sure what, but he got, he got banned for like, like one day. He thought it had some, he thought it had he he I saw him talk about it on YouTube. He told me like he I mean he he said something like he was he was uh you got you get one day banned two times then seven day then perm. Yeah, that's what I but I mean, you know, like soda pop and got banned and he thinks it's because uh he was uh he was restreaming other people's streams and commenting on it. But it's something he always did, but I guess it's against the terms. It's against the rules. So using someone else's content on a stream, like you can do that in some cases on YouTube, but I guess Twitch doesn't allow it. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, right in the, I'm, I'm kind of in the I'm kind of in the single digits pretty much still so Goodbye Yeah 
farewell. I do. Bashar yeah. Farewell. Yeah, that's what that happens a lot. Although I haven't played, you know, and I'm very honest, I didn't play. Uh, good night, good night, Cadbid. And uh, well, you got to get your sleep, Cadbid. You got to get your sleep. So yeah, I'm done here. I think I'm gonna. You know what? I think I'll fly back to. I think I'll go back to Stormwind. And get my writing, and then I'll be, and then that'll be all I'll do for tonight. I get my writing skill. I get, I could go to Darnassus and do that. So that's what I'll do. Good night, Cadbid. Thanks for dropping by. What brings you here? It's farewell. Yeah, it's yeah, something like that. It's. It feels like. Uh, it feels like uh, sort of early dinner time now. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was. I. You know. And I did it too. I. I went back to school when I was in my. Um, I mean, I'm almost sixty now, but I. I. I went back to school when I was like in my late thirties and early forties, and it was hard. It was hard because I, I always, I just always managed, I had tech jobs and stuff, but I always managed to get late night shifts and it was better. I could, I could handle it better. And I had school, I had to get on the bus because, you know, I was like, I had a car, but I couldn't really afford to drive because I only had so much money. Yeah. Cause I was in school and, and, uh, yeah, and and I had like um, so I I got my student bus pass. It was like twenty bucks, so that was really good. It's a good deal. But um, and uh, I would I would, but it took an hour to get to school, and I went to music school at, in Portland when I was in Portland. I went to port I went to Portland State, and the first time around I took sciency and mathy stuff. But that was a long time ago. That was when I was, you know, young, like, you know, in my late teens and early 20s. But, um, but then, but then, uh, five, but, but then, um, um, the last time I went to school, I went, I went, I went for, I went for a music degree and I was there for five years and I didn't quite finish. I just got tired of it. I went, I went full time most of the time and I went three quarters time so that I could work a little bit, you know, for some of it. And in, in Portland, we had quarters, not semesters. So you could take four quarters a year if you want and do either full or three quarter time. And, you know, I would do that. And, you know, I, I'm like one of those guys now that's like that's like a few credits short of a degree. And I'll, and I'll probably never finish it too, because I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough, you know, really. Well, that's what I that's what I did the first time around. I didn't even get a degree the first time. And but but on the other hand, it does show I guess that you can complete something. So I guess it's good, but I still don't have one actually. I still don't have one. Be careful. Yeah. No, it's not. It's 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 uh in fact, you know, even in the tech fields, now like Google, they don't care if you have a degree, they just make you pass a really hard series of tests. And if you're self-taught, that's fine. Like if you go to work for like there's a lot of companies that the degree is becoming less and less important because um well sometimes, you know, sometimes people with degrees aren't very good at what they do. <laughs> You know, that's quite 
it's I've seen it a lot. You know, they're just they come out of college with a degree in, in, in even a technical degree or engineering or whatever, and they don't know how to do anything. So, um, you know, and basically their degree is worthless. So, um, and so, uh, um, so it's hard to get someone, um, it's hard to get someone for a really hard job. It's hard to get someone these days. So, uh, they're starting to hire people using different techniques to try to find, like, if, if, if someone is really smart and they're self-taught at something, it's hard to test them for that, but Google and some other companies have figured out ways to do it so they can find, yeah. So there's a lot of people that are doing, you know, PhD level work, but they have no degree at all. Well, you just gotta know it. You gotta know it, whatever it is. Yeah, if you know it, you know it. Yeah. That's that, that's cool if do you know machine language? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, you you must be interested in in AI because you the first le language you learned was Lisp, which isn't it's an AI language. So, mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm with you so far. Yeah. Right. No, no, it makes sense. It makes sense, though, um, because you, you, um, you, uh, um, uh, machine learning is uh, when you're using math. Machine learning is is uh, like polynomial expansion, and and uh, you know, and and so um, there's a lot you can do with that. And uh, it's not my field, but I'm very interested. Do you know who Elitzer Yudikowski is? Well, Elitzer Elitzer Yudikowski is an an AI god. Yeah, and he is a complete autodidact. In other words, he's completely self-taught. 
And uh, so, you know, like people will ask him every once and people ask him all kinds of things because he'll talk to anyone on his blog. But but he's a, a really interesting because he's really accessible, too. But they'll ask him they'll ask him about like his his they'll ask him about like what they should do for education. And he says, well, I have no idea if you're going to school. I never went to school, so I don't know what to tell you about that. So <laughs> he just knows all this stuff. And he's just this brilliant guy, and he's completely self-taught. So I mean that that outside the box thinking is really important in in fields and especially in new fields. It's really important. Well, this is fat. You know, I we got 14 viewers from this conversation. That's amazing. Maybe I should talk about math more often. <laughs> Because I, you know, I, I studied pure mathematics and and uh, this interesting idea of symbology. Uh, um, like basically, math is 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 just developing symbols that represent things, and you can you can represent anything with the with symbols. So it doesn't have to be numbers or placeholders for numbers. It can be for anything, and you can apply you can apply rule sets to it or design rule sets and then apply them. And then you have another form of math. So it's amazing what you can do with that. Like the way they prove that, like, it, you know how in algebra, you know, the quadratic equation and the cubic equation are solvable. The cubic equation is really hard to solve, but you can, you know, it's, 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 it's solvable. Um, there's also a proof that um, uh, those equations, uh, um, uh, fourth degree, fifth degree are also solvable, but nothing higher. And the way they, the way they did those proofs is with set theory. So, um, so they were able to show that the set of equations, they were able to make a set theory rule and then use that to prove it. And so there's a proof that there's a proof that there's not a general solution for, uh, for uh, polynomial equations greater than five, and uh, um, it and it's it's uh, it's a uh, really interesting proof, and you have to learn a lot if you're an algebra guy. If that's you know most of your experience, you're you're not actually going to understand that proof unless you you uh, you know kind of bone up on your set theory stuff. And set theory it, set theory is more like logic, like like lot like math logic it's more like that like it has a lot of similar rules to it uh, so calculus is of course sort of an expansion of algebra you know it sort of makes it's like um, it's like uh, you can really do a lot of cool things with calculus but you cannot prove the you cannot prove the polynomial theory uh, with calculus you have to use set theory It's amazing and it's interesting and it's it's very it's more difficult than most other types of math problems too. Even though it's completely unambiguous, it's not it's it's uh um so let me see, where is the writing instructor? The writing instructor I think is over here. So there's Worgen in Darnassus now though, so after the cataclysm they added a little Worgen district. Uh that didn't used to be here. 
there's the there's the howling oak that's what it's called the howling oak and uh and there used to be so there used to not be anything there but now there's the worgen district and uh i think the riding instructor is just here i think this is it yeah here we go riding oh, trainer God. journeyman riding 45 gold and i luck, that's that's i've got like I no no I've got forty three I got forty three thousand. <laughs> yeah. I've got forty three thousand because I'm try I'm actually not spending too much because I'm saving up for the I want the Grand Expedition Yak. You know, the Lucky Do mount that has the transmog vendor right on it. I want that. It's it's a hundred and twenty grand. Or if you if you join a guild with the if you join a guild with the with the money perk you can get it for 107 grand if you, i'm not in a guild right now i mean I, I think some of my characters are but none of the guilds i'm in are you know high enough where they have that money perk there's like a money perk like a you know like vendors things cost like 20 percent less from vendors or something and there's no amount of rep, like it's it's Grummel, you buy it from the Grummel, but even though you become friendly with the Grummel, it doesn't change their prices. Like it does with like in Stormwind, if you get Stormwind rep, eventually things are cheaper as your rep goes up. If you buy things in Stormwind, they're cheaper. So, um, but, um, uh, <laughs> But stuff is stuff is cheaper, and also there's, there's like like did you know that that um like uh you know when you drink alcohol in the game? Uh, did you did do do you know how like uh, if you drink alcohol in the game like there's a bunch of different there's a bunch of different effects right? Not in real life, just in the game. Um, so so in the game like one of the things that happens that I did not notice for years and years and years. But I just happened to notice it. Uh, and hey, happy, good to see you. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm, I just, I discovered that um, that if you drink, if you get completely smashed, all the bad guys, you know, like all the, you know, the hostiles, will look five levels lower than they actually are. Is that hilarious or what? That's like, well, I could, I could take him, because <laughs> you know, here, dude, hold my beer, because <laughs> ah, I'll, t but, but, just there, there is nothing really. I mean, you know, actually, I used to use um, because Kongaloosh used to restore your mana. And back in the Lich King days, and also um, one of the things is, you could since it changes the it, it changes the FOV, the field of view, and makes it bigger, makes it makes it wider. You can actually scroll out a lot further from your character. So it actually has one practical effect, but but it also makes it also makes the uh, the enemy look like they're five le levels lower than they actually are. So you, you got to be careful with that because it'll, you know, you, you that can fool you because they're not five levels lower. They'll still kick your butt. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, it, I think I'm going to, uh, I guess that's it. I got my fast riding, my 200 riding speed. I guess I'm going to take a break then. And I... Uh, well, thanks for thanks for dropping in. It was really fun to ha have you in the stream and just uh, hang out. So that you definitely you're you're welcome anytime. So I'm gonna go turn on a rerun, I guess, for now, and uh, I'll talk to you later, man. You take it easy. Bye bye.
Well, okay, I guess this is it for me. I'm gonna take a break. It's it's almost three hours, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go have some dinner or something. So uh, we'll see everyone later. Bye bye now.